Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Valheim with me, Baby Dragon over here. Now in today's episode we are planning to try and kill the fifth boss, which uh, whose um, location we've already found and we also found all the totems that we need to summon him in the previous episode. Now um, I think the first day, since it's uh, the morning of day 200 and something, I think the first day we'll do a bit of preparation, we'll get the food and uh, arrows and meats and whatnot, everything ready and and we'll put them all the uh, all, all in this um, chest over here. Now um, I've got five totems and, and also some uh, medium stamina meat and also medium healing healing potions there as well. So the next thing um, I think we'll need some uh, I have a feeling he might we might need some uh, fire resistance. Um, so let's grab some barley and what's this one? Cloud berries. Yeah, there we go. Now, I'm not sure if he if he uses fire in his uh, attacks, but um, it just seems that the bone mess was was all about poison, and then the uh, uh, the motor um, was uh, more like a frost, and so it just uh, feels pretty safe to assume that. The next one's gonna be gonna be fire. Now, huh, this actually reminds me. I don't think I have any of those. Um, what they called again? Fermenters. I think I took them down in our old base, but we didn't actually put new ones down. Yes, that makes sense because we have not built the um, tavern over here yet. Okay, I think what we gotta do is we gotta put, uh, put down some temporary um, ferment fermenters over here. Oh, come on, here we go. I just don't know if I have enough fine wood for this. Um, yeah, doesn't look like I have enough. Okay, so yeah, let's get the meats running first. So I'm gonna quickly go and find some fine wood from, from somewhere and um, they will start uh, crafting them. Alright, so here's our two fermenters. Um, again, will be temporary. But um, let's drop this stuff we all need here for the time being. And let's um, see what we need to make those fire resistant uh, meats again. Okay, so it was barley and um, cloudberries. Um, I think I did have those resources on me before. Didn't I? That's okay. We'll just wait. Barley, what did I grab? Oh no. Um, here we go. Here's some barley for us. Now, I think we won't need to make too many. Let's just make two. In case we might need them in the future as well. And we'll drop them in here for the time being. So whilst these um, um, fire resistant meats are in the process of getting ready, we can carry on with the rest of the things on our list and let's put the barley back in here as well cool so the meat's being done now let's see next thing on our list mm. well if he's gonna be fire then i think i have some arrows maybe f mm, we'll take the frost arrows with us so let's jump to the other base i think I, all my specialty arrows are still over here since there's so many chests that I have not... Oh, wait. No, it seems... Huh. How are all these empty? Oh, that's really odd. Okay, I did find them. And it kind of makes sense why they're here. Because that's what, uh, that is my main sort of teleporting area over here. So I did put all those arrows. So it would be nice and quick, um, quick refill. Uh, without having to run too far. So cool, we'll just grab all the um, frost ones and let's um, put them in the in the chest over there. Next item on our list will be to make some more food. Now to make uh, fish wraps. Uh, we are gonna need some uh, fish obviously. And yeah, I think we'll We'll just climb down from here and we'll go to the docks uh, to, to do a little bit of little bit of fishing over here now i haven't done a lot of 
fishing so far because um i mean i'm not a huge fisherman myself and just standing here um it's not the um uh, it's not really um what i describe having having fun in a in a video game but in this case since the fish wraps are really good well if only we could find some fish in here since they are giving us a lot of stats for the um for this big battle that we are about to have um i think i'll just have to suck it up and and uh, try and catch some fish from here now i do have a another smaller dock over here maybe we'll be more lucky with finding fish around this area let's take a quick look um well that's odd i wonder what the respawn time is on the on the fish over here because i did a little bit of fishing before the previous episode but we spent quite a few days in the plane so i would assume that all the fish would have already respawned by now uh can't see any in here either well that's really odd okay i'm gonna do a little bit of searching around and see if we can find a better spawn so i think i found the spot uh, it seems there's quite a few in the water there it is difficult to see them since the sun is already setting and um but there is a couple in there and one in-game tail later, this is what we have. We got about 43 fish and it took quite a while. I had to um, kind of switch the places or the, or the spots the, all the time as well. So I went along this coastline and found a really nice uh, spawn area over there. I think there was about 10 fish in total. And then I just walked, walked along the river back over here and uh, found another pretty good spawn not far from the base as well. Um, so while, whilst we're waiting for the fish to be cooked up, let's try and prep some more um, lox meat pies and, and also some blood pudding as well. Maybe about three of them. So for blood pudding we're going to need thistle, blood bag and barley. Uh, which should be here. Blood bags. Now oh, the fish is ready. Let's just grab that. Before it turns into charcoal. So we need thistle barley and and this one let's grab from here yep and barley here we go and i think we're just gonna make three of those since we already had seven okay and let's grab the fish real quick as well there we go now, oh, next one. Uh, so we've got 10 of those. Let's see, fish wraps. Let's make a couple. Actually, now that we have so many of um, so much fish, we might as well uh, use up as much as party as possible. Oh, then that's another set ready. And let's make a few more. That's one, two, let's see how many we can make. I think we should have quite a lot of barley. So fish wraps should not be a problem at all. Here we go. And we'll put another, another set on the, on the fire over here. Come on, grab this one. Okay, and let's make Use all that fish as well. And all right, I think we'll cook, uh, leave the fish for for another time in case we need some more in the future. Now the last thing on our list is going to be lox meat pie. So I think we're going to have to cook some lox meat as well. And there we go. There's heaps of that stuff over here too. So let's put it on the on the fire and let's see what else do we need. So we need cloudberries and again barley. Okay, let's grab some more barley. And 
let's see. Cloudberries. Just one over here. We must have more. Yeah, there we go. And let's put the rest of the fish away as well, since we won't need this for the time being. And same with the plant packs as well. Cool. Oh yeah, we got loads of barley over here. Alright, I'm just gonna wait until all the um, the meat is done and then we'll make some more, more lox meat pie. And the last thing we're gonna cook, I did find some uh, serpent meat in our in our storage. So um, I cooked some of it up and I uh, got the recipe for the for the serpents too. And this thing is an absolute bomb. It gives us 80 health and 80 stamina and healing 4, per, four HP per, per tick. And the, the recipe itself as well is some mushrooms and honey, which I have quite a quite a bit, so. Um, I don't think we're going to be using it all the time, but for the uh, fifth boss, I think um, this will definitely be on the on the menu for that fight, so. Uh, we're just going to quickly cook this all up. Well, we didn't have a lot of uh, serpent meat, so. Uh, we, yeah, I think six should be, should be more than enough, so that should be pretty much everything when it comes to food and we are gonna leave let's see if we have space somewhere of course here so what we'll take with us um we'll take all this food over here and the spare stuff we're gonna leave in case we well in case we die and also uh, yeah just in case we have to use it in the future. So, uh, that's the food. Let's see, we'll also repair all our stuff. Real quick. Got some spare arrows over here as well. Okay, and how about we also grab some wood in case. And we'll load the barley in the, in the windmill here as well. So whilst we are away. Um, we can come back to some more barley since um, all the food recipes that we, all the food that we already made uh, used up quite a bit of our barley um, reserves. So let's just drop it out of our way in the cart over here. And I can't think of anything else that we might need. So I'll take the hammer, this in, just in case we need some more wood. There's nothing we need from these boxes. Um, right, I think it's time to grab all this stuff. Let's put it in the shortcuts over there. Oh yes, we might have this mead ready. Let's see. Uh, don't tell me. Uh, it wasn't working because it was too exposed. Wait, is that a thing for them? Okay. Well, that's a real shame. Let's see if it's it's still too exposed. Okay. What if we put down some temporary walls over here? Still too exposed. What about this? Does that make it any better? Now it's fermenting. Oh, that's a lot of time wasted. So if that takes about 40 minutes... I might just go ahead and... Oh, that's a tough call now. Uh, let me think for a second. Yeah, I think we're gonna wait until the um, the fire resistance meat is ready. Um, just in case. I'm not sure if we're over preparing for this fight or, or not, but... I think it's quite important um, to be ready. I would hate to uh, die there in the first first few, uh, few seconds and then... Uh, having to um, mess with trying to get the gear back and, and then whilst uh, avoiding all those death mosquitoes, fuelings and maybe who knows what other kind of um, mobs is going to spawn as well so I'll be back as soon as the, the meat is ready and then we'll we'll get right into the fight. Alright and after much waiting I think the fire resistant meat seems to be ready as well so we'll grab this and I think it's time to Time to head to the um, plane spam now. Okay, so let's put this here. Now, if this isn't uh, over prepared, 
Um, I don't know what it is, but I think we uh, we have everything that we well, that we need. I even took all the um, all the totems uh, I have just in case I miscounted them or whatever the reason might be. So let's do a quick check. I've got the got the food over here. Wow, that gives a lot of health and stamina. That is great to see. We've got the meat over here as well. Some wood in case we want to build a platform over there. And plenty of plenty of arrows. Let's use these for the time being. Until we actually start the fight. But yeah, I think it's time to go. We'll jump through this portal over here. And then we'll um, take down the portal and bring it with us to the to the other island. So let's let's take it down. We'll grab all the items. And now all we gotta do is just sail to the Oh, yikes. Almost made it. Let's climb on. Uh, that's all the... All the black metal we've managed to gather in the past few episodes as well. So, yeah, what I've got to do now... Let's try and zoom out. Okay, we just got to sail over there. We'll set up a portal in case we need to go back and forth. In case we obviously die. But um, yeah, I'll see you once we once we're over there and we're about to summon the the fifth boss. And the moment of truth. I've also made a little platform up there, um, just in case. I think I just don't trust myself or believe in myself. Um, but anyways, let's get to the fight. I will um, pop the fire resistance meat and let's make the let's make the offering. One, two, three, four. And five. Here we go. Oh, he's gonna spawn right next to us over here. And let's swap the arrows as well. Okay, there he comes. Oh, wow. Using wrong arrows? No, we're not. Oh, that's looking pretty cool. Whoa. Alright, I did not see that coming. Oh, meteorites as well. Jesus. Oh, that's pretty rough. Guess we're just gonna have to kite a little bit. Meteorites. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, wow. Jesus, that's pretty brutal. that. Nope. Let's try and avoid that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a lot of talking. I'm just going to try and try and survive over here. Jesus. Well, that's a shame if he's going to break all those rocks. I was kind of hoping to build over here at, at a later stage. No, not now. Please leave me alone.
Oh no, we were so close. Ah, uh, yikes. I think my fire resistance needs run out. Hmm. Well. Let's try. Grab these. Heal up. Let's get a rested bonus. Hmm. Will we be able to just run down, grab our stuff? I'm not sure. But I think we will most likely try that. First though, let's pop this meat. And I'll take a few of these too. Now, if he's going to destroy my portal, that's going to be very painful. Alright, moment of truth. Let's try and hope he's not going to bring down the meteor on my portal over there. Now that I think about it, it probably wasn't very smart to build that portal right over there. But let's try. There he comes. We can do it. Oh. Yep. Let's hope there's not going to be any mosquitoes over here. Take all. Let's put this on. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. And here we go. Phew. That was... That was not what I was uh, expecting, but at least we were prepared to uh, prepare for this. Now, wrong arrows again. Let's switch to the first ones. Oof. And let's try and finish him without dying a second time. Couple more arrows should do it. One and two. And. Oh, finally. Whew. Oh, Yaglo thing. So, what is that? And the trophy. Oh, I think it's saving it. Here we go. Come on, mosquito. Okay. Was that everything? I think I'll have to come back and just to pick up all the stone um, before it despawns as well actually. That's not a bad idea at all since he destroyed quite a bit. Now I tried to stay away from the um, from the spillers because I was afraid he's gonna destroy them all with the, with the meteorites but oh uh, yeah he did take quite a huge chunk out of that one there at least. Yeah that's for sure. Um, but yeah I, I wanted to keep those for um, it looks like a pretty good uh, spot for uh, for a nice build but okay so what i'll do is i'll quickly transfer all those things well i, I mean stone back and forth uh, what is this though yaglo thing placeholder item for yaglo item drop okay so suppose with one of the uh, next updates hopefully this yaglo thing might actually become something i'm kind of excited and can't wait to see what it's gonna be but I think it's probably gonna be something like what happened with the with the motor um, that it allows you to uh, maybe build some advanced crafting tables or or maybe not actually yeah I'm not really sure what it's gonna be I mean if anyone knows too let me know it would be cool to uh, um, cool to see what it is but okay well I'll do is I'll um, let's go and put the trophy away first and see what sort of power we get from him all right so with Yagluth we are getting resistance versus magic damage and lightning damage 
Oh, what? How are these guys in here? Oh, I suppose this happened because we just defeated Yagloth, isn't it? So now they start spawning. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Anyways, yeah, let's see. Damage modifier, resistant versus fire, frost, and lightning. Oh. Well, that's gonna be interesting to find out where... Uh, where that is gonna be useful, especially against the lightning. I suppose it's um, more about some of the future mobs that they'll bring into, into the map here in one of the other biomes, perhaps. Um, but yeah, uh, this is all the... Five current bosses defeated, and um, and yeah, I suppose that's going to be the end of the episode. So, thank you very much for joining, and we'll see you in the next one.